In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can build this sports news website using Elementor Pro. So it will be a kind of a magazine style, a basic news style website where you can get information about the sports. So we will be building this website using Elementor Pro and Hello Theme. So if you want to build this kind of news website for yourself, then let's begin. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. Alright, so for this sports news website, we are using Elementor Pro and Hello Theme. So this is our home page. And if I give you a quick tour, we have a header with the logo and the menu search and a call to action, which we can use for any email subscribers. Below that, we have top stories from different categories. And after that, we have some feature news from a sports category here. Below that, we have same structure for another category. We have this feature news and then we have other news articles from the same category. Below that we have the trending story section where we can list the latest or any kind of uh, query from the categories as listed here. And after that we have a simple footer. Now if we go in this category of all these ports or basically I should say the archive page of these category. We have the category uh, label at the top. After that, we have the latest post with the title and we have all the posts listed here and we can customize it as per our requirement. And once we click on any of these posts, we have the title with the meta details with the feature image. And after that, on the left hand side, we have all the text. And on the right hand side, we have some advertisement options and we have social sharing, most popular articles and all the things that are required to create a basic news magazine website. So that's what we are going to build in this tutorial. So without wasting any time, let's dive in in the WordPress backend and see how we can do that. All right, so now we are in a fresh WordPress setup. We have nothing installed as of now. If we check this website in the front end, this is the basic WordPress theme that we are going to change. And we have just imported the blog post in this. So that's what we are building up from. If we go to posts, we have all the posts already included in here so that we don't have to waste time in that. And in the media library, we already have all the images that we will be using as feature image for this news magazine website. So now the first step is to go ahead and install the element or hello theme. So we go to appearance, we go to themes, and then we will click on add new. Here we will search for hello. And this is the hello theme from Elementor. And the reason we are installing this theme, not any Astra or any popular theme is because we are going to use Elementor Pro. So when we are using that, it's going to take over the control of all the features of all the features present in the theme. And we will be creating our own headers, our own archive pages and the blog templates. So there is no need to have a preloaded theme with all these header archive pages and other theme elements. So what we need is a bare minimum theme structure, which we can customize using Elementor and hello theme from Elementor is the best is the best theme for that because it doesn't have any predefined options or structure. It it comes with very basic things. So if we go ahead and refresh the front end, you can see that there is no design, no CSS or no customization option as such. So that's the minimum thing we need. And that's what we are going with. All right. So once the theme is done, next step is to add the free version of Elementor. We go to plugins and then we search for Elementor. And here is the Elementor website builder. We click on add install now. 
And once that is done, we click on activate. All right, so this is the free version of Elementor. Now we need to install the pro version of Elementor page builder. And for that, we go to add new, click on upload plugin. And once we have downloaded the zip file of Elementor Pro, we just need to upload it here. So if you want to check out the latest plans and offers of Elementor, you can go ahead and check the link in the description below. So by using that link, you will be landed on any offer that they might be doing these days. So after you do the purchase of Elementor Pro and then downloading the zip file, we just need to go ahead and upload the zip file of that plugin here. So let's choose the file from the computer. All right, so let's click on install now. All right, so now the installation is done. Let's click on activate the plugin. And once the plugin is activated, you will be prompted to register your purchase of Elementor Pro. So with that, you need to connect your website to the Elementor.com website so that they can track if the purchased Pro plan or the Pro plugin is being used on the license that you have purchased. So let's click on continue and activate. And now you need to log in into your Elementor account. So let's click on activate. And now we have our Elementor Pro of this website is linked to Elementor.com, our Elementor account. So now that is done, we can now jump into the actual designing of this website. So we go back to dashboard. And here we go ahead and create a page. So let's see what all pages we have here. So we have home here. And if we go ahead and view that in front end. So here we go ahead and create a new page and we will name it as home page. So we will be using this as our home page for this website. Let's go back and we go to settings and then reading. We will assign this newly created page as our home page. We don't have to assign a page for blog post because that will be linked from the menu. And here, if we go back in appearance, then click on menu. We can see that we have already added all the categories in the menu. So that's what we are going to use for the main navigation of the website. And we have already imported these posts and categories from the live website that we are referring to. So we did that already just to save some time. So to dive in in the process of designing, we will first start designing our header. So for that, we need to go to templates. We go to theme builder. And here we have this section where we can add new template. So you can also try their new theme builder. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we can see that we have various points to start with. We can create header, footer, single post, single page, archive, search results or 404. So we're going to create a header. So let's click on this header. So we, so these are the ready-made templates. We are not going to use them. Let's close this from here. We will start from scratch. And if we click on this wrench icon, we can change the title of this um, template because Elementor header 126 is not a very good name to remember. So we will call it as main blog header. And let's save this draft for this time. And before we actually start building our header, the first thing we should do is to assign global colors and the global fonts for our WordPress website. So for that, we need to click on this hamburger icon. We go to site settings. And here we have the global color option. We click on that and we can assign colors and various color palettes, which we will be using in this website. So let me just go ahead and open the same in the reference website so that we can take the color codes from there. So we go to this hamburger icon, we go to site setting, we click on global colors and this is the color palette which we have created. And as you can see that these are the same colors that we are using everywhere on this website. So for the primary heading, we are using this color code. We take that code from here and we will paste it here and for secondary and text 
it's all same we gonna change the color for our accent so instead of green we will choose this bright yellow and after that we have three custom colors pink light blue and green so let's copy the color code for this we will add a new color we will name it as pink paste the color code and now we have a new custom code of color which we can assign globally to any element we go back here this time we copy the code for this blue one now name it as light blue paste the color code same goes with the last one light green copy the color code add new color and we will name it as light green let's paste the code all right so now the global color palette is done and now let's assign the global fonts let's click on that so we are using this barlow condensed font so that's what we are going to choose for this primary heading so let's search for that same goes with the secondary heading and all the texts are from same just the website text the main text of the website is using roberto so let's go ahead and update that quickly so we go to this typography we search for this name once again for the ascent as well and let's click on update all right once that is done let's come back and here we have the typography so let's click on that so here for the body text we are using the color as default so we will use the color as text for the typography we will use the typography of text so we have assigned the universal font that we have just created and we have assigned that to body typography same goes with the links so for the links we will be choosing some dark pink color and the typography will remain the same as text for h1 heading we will be choosing this primary heading and for the typography we will choose as primary so as you can see that this heading is now changed same goes with the h2 we will choose the color as this and typography as um, sorry secondary same goes with h3 and let's change the color for h4 and h5 and the font size it will take it from the theme all right so now let's click on update let's go back let's click on the button settings so the typography of button will be using the ascent one and text color will be this primary color and the background color will be this ascent color that we have defined all right let's click on update we come back so so now the basic universal settings of the website are done all right so now we come back to our editor let's close this site setting so it will jump back to the element or editor so let me just go back to site setting and change this light theme to the dark one we click on user preference we select the dark mode let's click on save draft all right so to create our header like this we will be using three column layout so let's click on this plus icon let's choose the three column layout and on the extreme left we will be adding the logo in the middle we will be adding the navigation menu and on the right hand side we will add the button and the search bar so for this let's click on this entire row let's go to style first let's go ahead and add the background color all right so we will choose this primary color so this will be our background and here we will have our site logo so this will carry our site logo and we have not added any site logo yet so that's why we are getting this blank image so let's go ahead and save draft and first of all let's add a site logo let's open this in a new tab we go to appearance customize 
And here we have the site identity. Let's click on select logo in the media library. We have this, our logo here. We skip cropping. And now we have the logo here. Let's click on publish. Let's close this. Let's refresh this editor once again. All right, so now we see that the site logo is here. Let's make it a little small and maybe we can add some padding here. So for the top 10 pixel and the bottom 10 pixel. After the logo, we will be adding navigation menu. So let's drop this navigation menu widget here in the middle. So now our menu is ready. So let's bring it a little close. And after that, in the third section, we will add the search form. So we don't need this big giant search. We will be using the full screen search icon. Align it to left. And in the styles, we will change the color of this icon. So let's change it to maybe white. And if we click on that, we can see that this pop-up will open up for the search option. And after that, we will be adding a button. So let's drop the button after this search icon. So now you see that this button and this search icon are not very good aligned. So let's click on this search icon, go to advance. And here in the positioning, we will select the width as inline auto. Same we will do for this button. We go to advance, we click on position, width, inline auto. And for this button, we will also select some padding and margin. So for this button, we will have a right margin of 20 pixel and the left margin of 20 pixel. We go to content and here is the text we can enter. And we can link that button to any of our landing page. Once that is done, I think we need to color the navigation menu text. We go to style and text color will be white. Now it's looking much better. Let's open up a mobile view. So let's click on mobile. So this is how it will look on the mobile. Let's click on this menu. So that's how it will look in the mobile version. So instead of this giant header in the mobile, let's go ahead and make it a little bit clean. So first we will hide this button from the mobile. So we go to advance and in the in this responsive section, we will hide it on tablet and mobile. So now we don't have this button in the mobile view. And we now have these three sections. And this is the smallest one. So let's resize it to maybe 20%. And this one is also very small. So we will resize it this as well to 20%. And this one, we will resize it to 60%. So now the header is showing in one single line, which looks pretty clean. So if we click on this menu, it's not looking very good. So let's close this. And so let's come back to the desktop mode. Let's click on this menu. We go to the content. And here we will see we have an option for full width. Let's turn it on. And if we come back to our mobile view, if we click on that now, we can see that it's now this full screen menu, which looks much cleaner. Now our header for mobile is also looking a bit cleaner. We can also change the hamburger icon color. Let's go back to style. And we have the toggle button. The color, we will choose white here as well. So now it's look pretty clean. Let's click on publish. So where we want to show this header, we click on add condition. We want to show this on entire site. Let's save and close. So now our header is done. Let's click on the live site. 
So this is how our header will look like. And if we go ahead and take a look at the mobile view, this is how it will look in the mobile view. Let's shrink it down a little bit more. So that's how it's going to look. So one final thing, let's come back to the response, the desktop mode. We click on this entire row. We go to layout. We select the vertical align as middle. So now everything will be aligned in the middle and one single line. All right, so now the header is done. It's time to add or customize our footer. And let's go back in the exit to dashboard. We go back to theme builder. And this time we again click on the new version. Our main blog header is done. We now come back to footer. We click on add new. So now we will start creating the footer for this website. Once again, we are not going to use any ready-made template. Let's close this. We will name it as main blog footer. And after that, we will choose the two column layout. Once again, we will select the entire row. We go to background and we will select the background color as this primary color. And if we go to this website, we have these social icons on the left and these copyright content here. So let's add these social icons on the right hand side. So we search for social widget. Let's drop it here. So we don't want this multicolor. We go to style. We change the color to custom. We change the secondary color to ascent color. And for the primary color, we will make the opacity as zero so that we will only see these icons. And once again, if you want to link your social media accounts, you just need to click on any of these icons, and here you can enter the link for your social media account. Let's decrease the width of this section. And on the right hand side, let's go ahead and add a text. We will drop a heading tag here and change it to P tag. Let's just copy the content from here. And we will paste the content. We go to, we will align it to right, then go to style, change the color to white. And we again click on this entire row. We go to layout. We will select vertically align as middle. We come back to this text. In the typography, we will choose the text as Roboto and font size as 11, weight as normal. All right, so now our footer is done. Let's click on publish. Once again, we will add the condition for entire site. Let's save and close. So now our header and footer are ready. So now the theme footer is gone. This is how our custom footer will look like. All right, once that is done, let's come down to our home page. We will edit that. So let's close this and we have this as our home page. So we don't have any content right now. Let's click on edit page. And here we will click on edit with Elementor. All right, now this is the home page of our website. Let's click on this wrench icon. And first of all, let's hide this title. We don't need that. And here you can see that first we have this title, top stories. We have the divider and the category link and a feature news section here. So let's add this heading here first. So for that, we will be needing one column layout. Let's choose this. And then we will drop a heading here. This is not the H1. So we will select H3. And for this entire row, let's add some padding. For top, we will add 50% or 50 pixel. And for the bottom, we add 50 pixels. So we have this gap from the top and bottom. And now we will change the text to top stories. 
All right. Let's make it capitalized. So we go to typography. We transform that to uppercase. Once that is done, let's add a divider. The color of this divider will be as our theme. After that, we will add inner section to divide that into two more columns. On the left, we have this category link. So let's drop a button. We go to style. So instead of this color, we will go ahead and change it to our pink. And maybe we can also change the text color. So we will change it to white. And in the typography, we will change it to maybe italics. Now we can change the text to football. And we can link that to our category. After that, we will add a post. We will select the post widget. We will drop it here. We will drop it just below this button. So right now we see these many posts. We don't need that. We only want one column and one post. So now we have this single post and some details below that. So we don't need excerpt. We don't need meta details. And we also don't need this read more. So this is the image we need. So we will choose the full width so that we can have some high resolution image. And if we go in the style here in this here in this box setting, we have this background color. We select this as the primary color. After that, for the content, for the title, color will be white and spacing let's add a little bit spacing at the bottom and here we have content padding so right now this is ticking to the left edge so let's make it a little bit gap from the left so instead of this padding we need to enter in the content padding so let's add the 10 pixel here after that we need to change the font size of this so we in the typography we will increase the font size a bit all right now the left section is done on the right hand side we have these two articles from the different categories and i think we forgot to change the query so we go back to content right now if we click on this query it's not from football Let's include by term and we will select football. So now we see the news from the football category. Same we will do in the right hand side. Let's copy this button, paste it here. Let's change the background color. This time we will choose our blue color. And text we will make it basketball and the color let's change instead of white make it primary all right now let's go ahead and drop the posts so let's choose the post widget drop it just below this again we will choose one single column and one single post and the query this will be from basketball so we choose the term as basketball so the post from the basketball will be visible and the image will be full width. Image position, we will keep it to the left and image ratio, we will decrease a bit and then we will decrease the percentage of image size. Now it looks much better. Let's hide the excerpt and metadata. All right, let's increase the size of this title. So we go to content, title typography. We have this as 20 pixel or maybe 
28 pixel and same we will repeat for the other category copy this button paste it here copy this post paste it here let's change this to soccer and this time the color we will choose green no not the color we will choose the background color as green we will choose the background color as this light green and in the query of this post we go down to query section and then we will choose category as soccer all right so now it's showing the post from soccer so now our top section is done let's scroll down so first we have this separator and then this um, category and a post so let's go down we will add a separator here and for that we need to drop it at the main column let's add a little bit of gap we go to style gap will be around 30 pixel after that we will add this new button here so let's click on paste we already have so let's copy this button from here let's paste it and then we have this category so in we can again copy this one let's paste it here instead of left we want this to be on the right and we also have the excerpt we also have the read more so that's how it's gonna look we can play around with the font and the gap so let's go to style we have the content we have the title gap here we have the meta detail gap and we have the excerpt gap let's go ahead and increase the size of the title in the style itself go back to content the title typography this time let's go ahead and increase it to 35 or 36 all right once that is done we have this basketball category here so if we are selecting soccer we are choosing the soccer as the query so let's go back and below that we have these two posts so we will be copy this post again and we will paste it after that and here we will have two column we will choose two post and in the style we small in the title typography we will remove this size so this is the default size it will take and in the content we also have the excerpt visible so let's go ahead and make the text a bit small and we need to add a spacing for this excerpt so that looks fine so let's click on update and let's see how it looks in the front end so now we have this top story we have this top two column layout we have this big giant news option here all right once that is done we need to do the same thing for the other category so let's copy this button from here let's paste it after this and before that we have this separator as well so let's copy this from here let's paste it after this post and once again we will have these two posts so we copy these post widget first we will copy this post feature post and then paste it here and then we will copy these two posts and then paste it again here 
so instead of soccer we can go ahead and choose maybe football this time so let's copy this button and paste it here remove this one and here we will choose the query as football and same goes with this one we will choose the query as football all right once that is done let's click on update and after that we have this trending stories section where we have all these categories and some blog posts here so let's make that and uh, let's go ahead and copy this divider once again paste it at the very bottom after that let's copy this title from here let's paste it after this we will name it as trend, trending news or trending stories. After that, we will have this four column layout. So we will add another inner section after this news. So let's make a new column. Let's make another new column. And now we just need to paste these buttons here. Here goes the football one. Here we have the soccer. Here we have the basketball. And let's make one more. That is baseball. And for this one, we will choose the background color. Maybe our normal ascent color. And now we will drop this news widget again here. But this time we will not show the images. So we will choose one column, two posts, but the images will be none. And we will also hide the excerpt, but we will show the meta as the date and maybe the author. And it's a little bit more gap showing up here. So we go to content, we decrease this gap. All right, now it looks much, all right, so now it looks much better. Let's copy that. I'm not going to add this query here. We can do that. Let's paste it here. And same goes with the rest of the two. Let's refresh the front end. And this is how our header and home page and the footer section looks like. So this is the trending news section that we have just created. So now our home page is done. So the next thing we need to do is to check how our archive pages will look like. Let's click on any of these archive pages. Right now we don't have anything. So let's click on. So we go back to our dashboard and we click on this WordPress icon. We go back to templates, theme builder. And this time we will click on this theme editor and we will click on archive pages we don't have any template yet so let's click on add new all right so this time we will be choosing this structure so let's click on this one so this is how it will look like so this will be the archive page so this is how it will look you can play around with this and you can change the layout like instead of classic you can have cards like this so this is how you can play around with it so i will like the classic look so for the news or the magazine style this looks goes much better let's click on publish add condition all the post archive pages will be like this let's click on save so first of all let's go ahead and refresh Let's see how it looks. So this is how our category or the archive page will look like. 
we only have three posts in one single category so that's why this is all we have all right so let's open any single post let's see how it looks pretty bad right now so let's open that in the theme editor let's click on exit to dashboard go back to theme builder this time let's click on try now again and this time we will choose single post click on add new and this time let's go ahead and select a ready-made template so which one we should choose i think this one looks good so let's go ahead and insert that all right so now we have this style here let's change a little bit of color scheme the text color will be the primary one this is the image we don't need so here we have the post excerpt we don't need that let's remove it and for this row if we go in the advanced we have 180 degree margin from the 180 pixel margin from the top let's reduce it to 80 pixel we have the text here we have some advertisement on the right hand side which looks pretty good and we have this share icons let's reduce the size a bit we go to style and we decrease the button size a bit and let's after that same goes with the social icons go to style and let's reduce the spacing as well as the padding a bit so now they are in one single line so, and after that we have the popular post looks good and everything looks perfectly fine with this ready-made template we also have the related posts once again change the color scheme for this title as well so we have this and the color and the typography both we need to change same goes with this one the related post the colors will be the primary color of our text and this will for the secondary all right now looks much better let's go ahead and click on publish add the condition all singles no we want this to be as template for all posts save and close let's refresh this post and now we have a new style of post here so this is how easy it is to use Elementor Theme Builder and create your own custom news or magazine website. So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to watch more videos related to Elementor and WordPress in general, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the notification of our next upcoming videos. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.